I get a lot of people asking me how we were blessed to walk away from corporate America in our early 30s. Well, listen, I don't want to keep that a secret. I want to share it with the world. And so maybe you're listening to this podcast and you're trying to figure out how do I even get started on my journey of entrepreneurship and getting to a level of freedom? Well, text the word freedom to 737-777-9909. Enter your information in. And we look forward to sharing some information with you, a proven system with smart overhead, right? That you can do part-time spare time right from the comfort of your home and have amazing mentors, coaches, and a community of entrepreneurs who are willing to support you and help you on your journey to freedom. Welcome to Code Freedom. I'm your host, Eddie Bales. Have you ever felt stuck? Have you ever felt like there's got to be more to life than the reality that you see every day? Tune in weekly, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays as we crack the codes to freedom in every area of your life. Welcome to Code Freedom. I'm your host, Eddie Bales, and this is episode 82. And today we are talking about the Greek freak. Yes, Congratulations to the Milwaukee Bucks for being the new NBA champions. And, you know, this one to kind of how does this relate to Code Freedom? Well, hey, it has everything to do with Code Freedom. And here's why. Because they're the new champions, right? But but they didn't become champions today. They became champions every single day. I was doing a little research and I always like to study successful people period. And, you know, one thing about Antetokounmpo, Giannis Antetokounmpo, who was, uh, you know, MVP, is that, uh, you, you know, he, he would practice and work out six days a week, right? So his work ethic, the reason why they called him the Greek freak is just because of the fact that, I mean, he not only is he a great bar handler, uh, you know, not only is he uh, pretty tall, <laughs> you know, 6'11", um, but uh, the gentleman has bar handling, handling skills, and uh, between the speed, the bar handling skills, his size, and uh, just the force that he comes with, uh, he was given that name, the Greek Freak. And by the way, he was smart enough to trademark that name. Interesting, right? Um, so, yes, that name is trademarked. Uh, but, but the point is, you know, they didn't become champions today. They became champions a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, and they just decided to put the work in every single day. We recognize it today uh, as they become the new champions for the NBA finals. But, um, you know, they knew it a long time ago. And so, you know, it, it's kind of back to the last episode I talked about, um, you know, is it, it, building, we, we talked about Will Smith and, and building that wall day by day by day. Uh, that his dad like completely demolished and they had to put the wall back together. It, it's kind of that same concept. It's the compound effect. It's the slight edge. It's, it's what you do daily determines who you become permanently. And when you want to be recognized on a national stage or, or for doing something great, uh, you, you want excellence. You want to be a champion in, in the industry that you're in. You got to put the work in every single day when nobody's recognizing you, when nobody sees it, when nobody praises you, you have to be willing to put that type of work in. And so that's the, that's the main message I wanted to bring to you today is, uh, you know, I want you to activate your inner Greek freak, right? Uh, activate that inner Greek freak that's already in you because it's there. But you have to activate it and activate it every single day. So, you know, every single day we got to be looking at what am I doing to expand my reach, to expand my empire, to grow myself and then also grow my business, grow the thing that I'm doing. What am I putting my hands to? You know, the, the Bible says that he'll bless the work of your hands. But if your hands ain't working, <laughs> how, what can he bless? Right. So we got to put those hands to work. And we got to do some things on a daily basis uh, in order to cause that success and that that freedom that you desire to happen. And so uh, I'm excited about that because I, I just know that somebody listening to this podcast is going to draw a line in decision, possibly today, and say, you know what? You're absolutely right. Like, I've been nickel and diamond. I've been playing around. I've been, you know, having this 
negative thinking, thinking, right? And and we just need to decide that we're going to go all in, give it everything we have, and make daily choices. Make it make the choice daily to be a champion, right? Um, and 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 again, that's when people don't see it, uh, but you see it. You see the work ethic. You see the sweat and the tears and the, the hard work that you're putting in and behind the scenes. And you know the Bible also says what was done in the dark will also come to light. I think it says that. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's one of those just phrases that people say or what, but 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 just know that it's it's a true statement. It, it's a true statement that uh, I know the Bible does say say that what you sow in tears, you will reap in joy, right? And I know the Bible says that if you sow, you shall reap. So it's the same concept. If we do the daily disciplines, then we are going to see the fruit, right? But we have to be willing to do that and do it consistently and do it over and over and over and over when we don't feel like it, when we don't get the recognition for it, even when you don't even feel like it's working, right? Like, have you ever done something and you just like, oh my God, is this even worth me doing? Am I, am I, what's the point of me doing it? Like, I'm not seeing the fruit. I'm not seeing the success or the reward. And I'm here to tell you that sometimes you're doing exactly what you need to do, but the, the success just doesn't, it just hasn't been matriculated yet. And that's okay, right? It's just like that bamboo tree that gets watered for five years. Look, Every day that you water that plant, success is happening. It's just happening underneath the ground and nobody can see it yet. And then when it pops out and it grows 90 foot tall in five weeks, that's when we say, okay, it's a champion, right? But it was always a champion the four or five years that it was growing, not just the five weeks that it popped out of the ground and went to five to, to, to 90 feet tall. And so, you know, again, activate the inner Greek freak in you and activate the work, right? Let's go do the work that's necessary. I said it before, but the only place that success comes before work is in the dictionary. We got to go out there and put it in, uh, put those hours in. You know, I know a lot of times people think, oh, I would love to have passive income, right? Well, you got to work for the passive income. It just it doesn't just show up, right? You got you to gotta put the work on the front end to earn the income on the back end, right? You got to pay now or play later, or you could play now and pay later. But either way, you got to pay, right? And having that mindset is going to take you really, really, really far. And so let's just get the work out the way. Let's just, uh, let's get, you know, get the pay out the way. And then you can live the rest of your life playing because you have set yourself up for success and you put yourself in a position where you've broken some of those codes to freedom to now you you are able to live a life of freedom, right? And so I hope you guys got some value from this. Uh, again, once again, congratulations to the new champions. If you're a Bucks fan, I know you're celebrating and shouting because maybe people didn't believe in you a year ago, two years ago. But guess what? Now you are able to celebrate your team as champions. And so I think we can all learn from uh, you know, study it, study, study the book, study, study Giannis Antetokounmpo, study successful people, period. One, one suggestion is, you know, get all the autobiography books and study how people thought and, and what people had to go through to get to where they are. One thing you'll find is that anybody who succeeded has gone through a whole lot of hell, right? They've gone through a whole lot of struggle. They've gone through a whole lot of failure. We talked about the, the levels of failure, right, a few episodes ago. So they've gone through it. And 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 most people just don't see what they've gone through. They just see this the fruit. They just see the success, right? And it looks good. But you got to know that success doesn't look good when you're going through it. Uh, it just looks good when you actually achieve it and you, you get to the other side and you just persevere to a point where – um, you just you just resolve that you're not quitting, you're not giving up, you're going all the way. And uh, listen, that's the key to cold freedom is that resiliency, right? That's the key is doing daily disciplines every single day that are going to make no difference in the act of doing it, but doing it over and over and over and over and over and over, and over until it compounds itself. And then we get to see that you have shown up, you have shown yourself approved and you have 
achieve those goals that you were looking for. So listen, again, I hope you guys got some value. Don't forget to join our new Facebook group. Uh, you can do that at the way to freedom info, the way to freedom info, and it'll take you right to our Facebook group. We're going to we're building a community of entrepreneurs and CEOs and uh, people who think the same way. And uh, we're going to grow together. So I appreciate you all. God bless and have a phenomenal uh, day. Take care. God bless. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys for listening. Um, definitely feel free to take a screenshot of this episode. Tag me in it on Instagram uh, or Facebook or wherever you find me on social media. I would love to give you a shout out. Hey, you might even get a prize. Who knows? But uh, excited that you had a chance to take a listen. I hope you got a lot of value and uh, definitely feel free to uh, give us five stars as well as a review. Uh, show us some love and we appreciate you. God bless you all and see you all over the top.